This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial shows how to find and fix common syntax errors using NetBeans. I have a project open here already with one file, it has one class called Common Syntax Errors 2, and there's some comments here about the various syntax errors in this file. There are 11 syntax errors that are very common. In NetBeans, as you type in your code, the syntax errors are detected at that time as you're typing. This file has been completely typed in, leaving the syntax errors, and now we're going to go through and, and fix them after the fact. Syntax errors are indicated by icons over here by the line numbers, the red, and red squiggly underlines underneath the part of the statement that's in error. Some of the icons also have a yellow icon next to them, which is a warning. Our first error, uh, we put the cursor over the icon and it tells us the error, or we can put the cursor over the red squiggly part of the statement. In either case, this error says that since common syntax error 2 is a public class, it needs to be in a file with the same name. The file name is common syntax errors onejava There's a mismatch here. For this tutorial, the simple fix is not to change the file name, simply change the class name. The next error a semicolon is expected. Every Java statement needs a semicolon at the end of it. We'll add a semicolon here and fix that one. The next error is I can't find a simple symbol. The symbol here, temperature, and if you look closely, this is a misspelling. There's an int variable here called temperature and it's simply a misspelling. So we'll just copy the correct name and paste it in and fix that error. Our next error here, we have two uh, occurrences of scanner underlined and it cannot find the symbol for scanner. If we want to get some hints about how to fix a syntax error there's two ways. You either click on the icon and it gives you a list of hints that it will fix for you, or you can put the cursor uh, where the error is and hit Alt-Enter and you'll get the list as well. One of the suggestions here is to add an import statement. If we check at the top of our file, we'll see there are no import statements in this file. and that's why we're getting this error here on Scanner. So, Alt-Enter, and I'll go ahead and click to add the import statement. It added it at the top up here. I want to move it down under the comment where it says Missing Import Statements. So I put the cursor in that line, hit Shift-Alt, down arrow, moves it down. And now it's where I want it to be. I have some lines at the top here that are unnecessary. I'll just cut them, control X, control X. Our next error, it's complaining here about the symbol parse int. Parse int is the right spelling of the method to use here. However, Java is case sensitive. The I in int needs to be uppercase. If we do the hints on this one, Alt-Enter, we don't get any useful hints. Splitting it into two parts is really not going to help us at all. So we're going to take the I and make it capital. And now we still have an error, but it's not because of the lowercase, uppercase issue. This error now says that the actual and formal, formal per, well, they call it the argument list, same as parameters, basically, uh, differ in length. 
parseint really needs to take a parameter, and we don't have any parameters that we're passing in. If I put my cursor inside the parentheses and hit Control P, it will show me the list of parameters that it would take, either a two-parameter overload or a single with a string. We just want this string. We wanted to take this string here, s age. That's what we wanted to convert to an integer to assign it to this int age thing called i age. So we'll fix that one. The next error here, a missing symbol, again a missing import. I'll click over here and hit enter to accept that. We go up. It was smart enough this time to find where the imports were and added uh, the random import in the right spot there. The next error <coughs> says something's already defined in the same method. Temperature's already defined. If we scroll, well, if I click on temperature here, it's defined up here as an int. And down here is a double. That's a mistake. We don't want the double uh, declaration at all. In a real program, we would delete it. But in order to match the comments here telling what was wrong, we'll just comment it out. Going down to our next line with a, an error. It says a semicolon is expected, but it has a semicolon at the end. Looking carefully at the line, uh, we should notice that it, there's a missing parenthesis. If we put the cursor by one of these parentheses here, there's a matching. You can see the two yellow matching parentheses. But if we take this parenthesis here, it turns red. There's no matching left parenthesis. We could either add the left parenthesis or delete the, that extra right one. But to make it clear what the order of operations are, let's just add the missing parenthesis. The next error says semicolon is expected, but this is really not a Java statement. It's supposed to be a comment. It's simply missing the comment symbols. The last error down here says it reached the end of the file, and it was still wanting to uh, continue parsing or, or going further. If we click next to this right brace and go up to find the left brace right here, we see another brace above it for the class, and clicking it turns red. There's no matching right brace for the class. So let's add the right brace down here. And now, well, we see we have one more error that appeared here. It's a little bit delayed in showing us that one. It says that um, what did it say? It says the variable C might not have been initialized. See how C is underlined red there? If I click the C, it highlights the declaration up here for C, and we see that uh, it, it has not been initialized. I'll take this initialization code above it, paste it in here, and the comment says it should have a value of 3, so we'll make it 3. And now there are no more syntax errors in this file. However, over here in the project tree, it still has indications that have not been updated yet about the syntax errors. If we save the file, it will then update things. One thing to remember in NetBeans that um, it's going to compile things automatically when necessary. There's really no need for a separate compile step. When we save the file, it's going to compile it. And when we run it, <clears throat> it's going to take the compiled class files the first time we run it and put them in the build subdirectory under the project folder. Let's go ahead and uh, run this file now. It says, let's get going. The temperature is 76. Enter your age. So we'll enter a, an age 62. That's all, folks. 
close the output window and let's review the errors that we, the syntax errors that we fixed. One, missing import statements. Two, mismatched class name and file name. Three, missing semicolon. Four, a spelling error. Five, wrong case in a method name. Six, uh, missing parameter to a method. Seven, a duplicate a declaration with conflicting type. Eight, an uninitialized variable that was used in a calculation. Nine, unmatched parenthesis. Ten, an uncommented comment. And finally, eleven, an unmatched brace.